In the previous tutorials, we've looked at how to import images and video clips into Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. We've looked at how we can get images and videos into the timeline. We've also looked at how we could use the preview panel, this one up here, to extract either audio only or video only and put that into our timeline down here. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we could split or crop a movie clip so that we can take out only a part of it. So let's say I'm going to drag Megamind clip down into my video panel. Now over here on the toolbar, there are two tools that we need to be aware of at this stage. This one here is the razor tool, and that's what we're going to use to cut up the movie clip. This other one here, the arrow in the top left, that's the selection tool. So if I want to select something and click delete, I can do that. If I want to click and drag down here, that's with the selection tool. Because I've dragged down the video and the audio here, you can see I've got something appear in both rows here. Not only do I have the moving images in video one, I also have the audio that syncs with that in audio one. Now to flip between the selection tool and the razor tool, you could click the toolbars over here, or as you can see with the little letters that come after them, you could use some keyboard shortcuts. I'm on the selection tool at the moment, but if I click C on my keyboard, you can see here it's changed to the razor tool. If I click V on my keyboard, it's changed to the selection tool. So I'm choosing the razor tool, clicking C on the keyboard or um, just clicking the icon itself. And to split the clip, all I do is go over here to the timeline and I click on the video where I want the split to take place. So I could split there and it comes up with a time. I split there and it comes up with a time as well. Now what I could do is press V on the keyboard to go back to the selection tool. Now I could choose to select one of these little pieces and press delete, so I've got rid of it. I could also choose to move parts of the clip around. So this clip here was originally at the end of that little movie clip, and this clip was in the middle. Now I've actually reversed the order of those. 